Another way to get a better understanding of how sound intensity works and the decibel scale works is let's take a look at a crying baby. So a typical crying baby will put out about 80 decibels of sound. That's pretty loud, so most people will hear a crying baby. But what would the sound intensity be if there were 10 crying babies? Hmm. So obviously it's not going to be 10 times 80 decibels or 800 decibels because it'll blow every house in the neighborhood apart. But um, hmm, how do we do that? Well, we need to convert that back to the intensity in the regular intensive scales of watts per square meter. And 80 decibels is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. Of course, if you don't remember that, we can go ahead and convert that. Um, now, if there's 10 crying babies, each would have an intensity of 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. So 10 crying babies, the intensity for 10 is equal to 10 times 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And that would equal 1 times 10 to the minus 3 watts per square meter. And that would then, of course, be 80 plus 10 decibels. Or, let me write it like this, 80 decibels plus 10 decibels and that would be equal to 90 decibels. So simply by increasing the number of babies by factor 10, that would increase the decibel level by 10 decibels. Now what if we had 100 crying babies? That would be quite a scene, but uh, what uh, if there were 100 crying babies? What would the sound intensity be now? All right, let's take a look. Well, the intensity of 100 babies would be 100 times the intensity of a single baby, 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter, and that would be 1 times 10 to the minus 2 watts per square meter, and that would be 10 times as big as that. That means that you add another 10 decibels, so this would be 90 decibels plus 10 decibels, so now we can see that that would be 100 decibels. And now let's go for a really crazy scene. What if there were a thousand crying babies? So the intensity of a thousand crying babies would be 1,000 times the intensity of one crying baby, but of course in the standard units of watts per square meter because that's a linear scale. Decibels is not a linear scale. So this is equal to um, 1 times 10 to the minus one watt per square meter. So again, that's 10 times as much as the previous time, so you add another 10 decibels, so this would be 100 decibels plus another 10 decibels, so that would be 110 decibels. And finally, if I asked you what is the sound intensity of a 10,000 crying babies, that would be another 10 decibels, and so that would be 120 decibels and so forth. So each time you increase the sound intensity by a factor of 10, you just add another 10 decibels. And here's kind of a, an interesting way of looking at that.